Hey, Wrangler 4xe fans. One of the myths uh, that kind of floats around the internets about uh, electrified platforms is that they can't tow, they don't have the power, they can't make it happen, they're just all this kind of stuff. Well, I I did a little experiment today. Now, this isn't much of a trailer. Uh, this is uh, probably a 500, 550 pound trailer. The mower weighs about 550 pounds, another 20 pounds. So, you know, we're in the 12, 1300 pound range. So it's not much of a trailer, but I gotta tell you, this Jeep did not even, you, you really couldn't even tell it's back there. I mean, it's a little bit, I mean, you can feel it, but it has all the power that you would need uh, just for regular around the town towing, which is all I'm doing, of course, went and uh, helped a friend out and mowed their, uh, a yard near their business. But anyway, um, so I just wanted to share that, but in, for the sake of understanding the impact on range, of course, uh, even traditionally fueled vehicles have issues with losing gas mileage when towing. And that is the same when it comes to electrified vehicles too. And uh, I started with full charge. And what you can see, I'm at the 1% state and I made it 16 miles. So I did lose range. Um, I know I always, I'm sorry, my park sense is turned off. If you don't know about the park sense, if you connect a trailer and you put the thing in reverse, you're gonna get all sorts of warnings and everything. So I always turn that park sense off. Just a little side thing if you don't know about that. But any, at any rate, we're at the, uh, at the 1% state and we are, I've gone 16 miles. So you can see the impact on range. I'm normally in the 22 to 23 mile, sometimes 24, depends on, I don't know, just depends on stuff, but anywhere between 22 and 24 miles and I got 16 miles. So it does have an impact just like it would on a uh, traditional ice vehicle. So there you go. Thanks for watching and uh, thanks for being a part of this whole 4xe community. Take care.